Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for a very special announcement. Before I get started, I just want to acknowledge Frank Atai, VP Cloud at IBM Canada, and we'll get to Frank in just a minute. I'm very pleased to announce today that the city of Markham is the first municipality in Canada to partner with IBM using the IBM Watson Assistant for Citizens, which responds to COVID-19 questions in real time. Using AI power, IBM Watson Assistant for Citizens will provide 24-hour customer service for residents looking for COVID-19 information. This virtual agent will help us serve our community better, ensuring that the people who are looking for information will have access to it quickly and it will be accurate. Serving our community has always been a top priority for the city of Markham and providing up-to-date information is even more critical during this public health emergency. At the city of Markham, we embrace technology and this initiative further reinforces our commitment to deliver exceptional service while leading the way in Canada's innovation corridor. Residents can now go to our website, markham.ca and use the virtual agent, or you can speak to the virtual agent by calling 1-833-926-0929. So online or by phone, that's anywhere, anytime, using any device. The IBM Watson Assistant for Citizens will answer some of your pressing questions related to COVID-19. Things like common symptoms, how many cases are in your region, information on safety, and much, much more. IBM Watson Assistant for Citizens will also answer your questions about some of Markham's services, such as the tax relief program that we've passed or our garbage collection. As we continue to deliver essential municipal services to the people of Markham, this virtual agent will prove to be an extremely useful tool during this public health emergency. In fact, I would like to describe it as a critical and necessary tool. Now, the city of Markham joins government agencies and organizations from around the world, the US, the Czech Republic, Greece, Poland, Spain, and the UK are also leveraging IBM's AI technology. Markham is once again at the forefront, proud to be home to some of the best and brightest developers, disruptors, and creators in the country. The IBM Canada Lab has a rich history of innovation with its own special incubator, Area 631. Thank you to the team at IBM Canada for this important collaboration using transformative technology. Thank you for setting the bar high, for addressing the critical need, and for helping us stay informed and safe as we all work to get through this crisis together. And with that now, I'd like to introduce Frank Atai, VP Cloud at IBM Canada. Well, certainly. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, that was really well said. And I will tell you, as a longtime IBMer, uh, you know, we're proud to do our part. Uh, we're proud members of the business community uh, in the city of Markham. And, and it suffice to say that, you know, the past 90 days and beyond, I've seen, you know, unprecedented changes in, in the way that uh, we interact with each other, both from a personal and from a professional perspective. Um, and at IBM, we're committed to marshalling uh, all of our resources, both from a, an intellectual property technology perspective, and as or more importantly, our people. And the mayor talked a little bit about, you know, our significant history in the city of Markham. Uh, and I'd like to say proudly, not only our headquarters, but, you know, the lab, we have created and leveraged a lot of these disruptive technologies uh, in support of analytics capabilities and what we're doing to work in collaborations like people with people like the city of Markham to get us through this pandemic. And really what we did is we saw the opportunity uh, to bring our AI engine, which is Watson at scale, uh, to put the tools and the information at the fingertips of the citizens in collaborations with the city of Markham. I mean, now more than ever, people are looking for updated information. Uh, and I'll tell you, there's probably not a better use of, of our capabilities and our technology in working in collaboration with the partnership 
with the city of Markham um, to use whether, and the mayor said it best, whether it's our uh, you know, web-based technologies uh, and or our voice technologies to get information on a regular basis, to get these critical pieces of data uh, into the hands uh, of the citizenship. So, you know, I'd like to say again, we're very proud. Um, you know, certainly, you know, our investments in this Watson Assistant for, for Citizens makes a lot of sense in terms of leveraging that capability. And I couldn't be prouder that, you know, we're starting this uh, in Markham with the city of Markham. Well, thank you very much, Frank. And I can tell you that IBM has been synonymous with Markham. And I think uh, once again, uh, we are collaborating, which is wonderful. And uh, we're truly happy to have you as part of the Markham family. As I've been saying a lot uh, over the last uh, few weeks, uh, we're proud when uh, both uh, companies and individuals are part of the Markham family, because in a time of crisis, family comes together. So this is a great example of that as well. I just wanted to ask you a, a couple of questions and really an opportunity to understand this a little more. Using AI and machine learning, uh, we know that the IBM Watson Assistant for Citizens is a smart tool, but it also gets smarter with time. I'm not sure you can say that about politicians, but can you maybe explain to us uh, what exactly that means and the applications of, of how it actually will help? You know, it's a great question, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, because there's a lot of technologies that are out there in the marketplace, and sometimes it's as simple as just indexing basic answers. But, you know, really the difference here is a combination of machine learning, is what we call it, um, as well as natural language processing. So whether you're calling on the phone or you're going through text, the technology learns uh, based on the series of questions, and it's um, the parameters are evolving. So, you know, as we get through in, in this, you know, we're say day 90 plus this pandemic, the questions are different, the sources of data are different. You're obviously keeping, you know, the citizenship up to speed with what's on your website, but we're pulling into the web for information from other local sites, be it uh, all levels of government, uh, healthcare uh, and academia. And the technology brings all of those pieces of data together that are in the, in the marketplace. Incidentally, it also runs on the IBM public cloud. So as we add capability and scale and resource, and, and for us, the public cloud is, is actually based in Markham, which is nice as well. Um, it's bringing the components of natural language plus the inherent learning or natural language processing and machine learning to an evolving set of questions and multiple data, uh, data points come together to bring the best and updated answer. So yeah, in a time of uh, information, and we're getting uh, a lot of it, I think some of uh, uh, people might say it's information overload. How does this virtual agent ensure that we're getting the most up-to-date information? And I think something that's been critical from day one, that it's accurate information from legitimate sources. Yeah, and so the benefit of you know, and, and it is standard and customized all at the same time, the technology, right? So as stewards of the data that you're trying to provide on behalf of the city, uh, there's a level of control that points the technology into predetermined uh, data points. So if you wanna pull information from uh, multiple levels of government uh, in Canada, if you wanna pull information from specific uh, sources within the healthcare community, uh, if you want to interact with um, defined sources across our academic institutions, across the province of Ontario or the city of Markham, um, the technology, while it's customizable, is also built on a standard platform of trusted sources of data. And stewardship of, of critical data, both for you and I, is, uh, is very, very important. Now, as a city, we can uh, now communicate more uh, effectively with our, with our residents as we all work to continue to flatten the curve at this critical time. But this tool also has broader implications. So going forward, when we do begin to emerge from this emergency and adapt a, a new normal, whatever that's going to be, can you give us some examples of how it will help us stay informed? Yeah, absolutely, sure. So as we move into, you know, hopefully the recovery, uh, recovery phase sooner than later, it's the level of customization that you can bring to the tool. So today there's questions about, you know, uh, how do I recognize the symptoms? 
or where do I go for support? And tomorrow, uh, as the technology evolves and the messaging changes uh, and the questions go towards um, when can I start traveling or what time does the school offer uh, open or um, you know, what is the evolution of social distancing? This technology can adapt um, both in terms of sources of data, uh, where we pertain them, and I, we very much view it as transformational and evolutionary as we get through this pandemic. So even when we're sort of over the uh, over the spike, over the curve, and we start to see the numbers go down in, in cases, uh, there's going to be a lot of questions about a whole lot of things, and so this tool will still be very helpful for all of us then as well. A a absolutely, and I would say. Um, the city of Markham has taken the initiative and, and you are first, but you certainly won't be last across the, the Canadian economy. And what we hope is to see more collaboration. And what, the way it works with big data and technology and machine learning is the more trusted sources, the more trusted input, the more value we can add for uh, both um, you know, private and, and professional um, enterprises across the country. So we certainly do see this evolving, not only as you know, where we are today and where we're gonna go tomorrow, but um, you know the applicability uh, across, you know, not only for citizens of the city of Markham and beyond, it's it's limitless. And what we hope is that we can do our little part, like I said in the beginning, and uh, you know, not a better place to start than with the uh, city of Markham and Five M Canada. So absolutely, and certainly uh, we thank you because you are on our backyard, and this is a wonderful collaboration. But I want to ask, can municipalities reach out to you directly? You know, I, I appreciate you asking the question 100%, right? So we've made this technology available uh, for all levels of government, um, municipal, provincial, or, uh, or federal. Uh, we've also made it available for uh, academic and um, uh, healthcare as well. So uh, absolutely, we're not, we're not too hard to, uh, to find. You can reach out directly to IBM and we can uh, make the technology available. And it is, of course, for all levels of government, healthcare, and uh, academia free of charge. Well, that's wonderful. What a wonderful offer. Uh, IBM has always been a great corporate citizen here in the city of Markham, and certainly now your generosity uh, to the rest of Canada is a, is a wonderful thing. So again, uh, thank you to the entire IBM team. So there you have it, folks. Uh, two Franks, a very frank discussion today. Uh, I encourage everyone to use the IBM Watson Assistant for citizens. As a community, we are known for our compassionate and giving nature. And this new tool truly is a special gift at a time of great uncertainty. So stay informed, stay healthy, stay at home, and save lives.